Search for App Mink. Oh no! Evil Bus has stolen money from the bank. <laughs> I'm rich. What should I buy with all this money? Oh, look over there. It's Mr. Police Car. He can help. Siren. Time for a chase. Pull over, evil bus. Somebody could get hurt. I have to stop this bank robber. Evil bus is going the wrong way on the road. Now Mr. Police Car is going the wrong way too. It really wants to stop the bank robber. Stop, evil boss! Hmm. Smell you later! Sorry, Mr. Fire Truck and Mr. Garbage Truck. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. Good. Please follow me. We have to stop this bank robber. Here we go, everyone. Mr. Police Car is taking Evil Boss onto another road. What's this? Mr. Fire Truck and Mr. Garbage Truck are taking the next right. They're setting up a trap for Evil Boss. We got him! Oh yeah! They've caught the bank robber! Oh man! The bank robber will now go to jail. Great work, team. Search for App Mink. Mink, that's just in. Evil Dr. Pig escaped from prison last night. Oh no! We have to hurry and warn the people of App Mink Town. <laughs> What's, What's going, going on? on? <laughs> Watch out! Whoa! Those minions are dangerous! Be careful, everyone! Whoa. Look out! Another one! Watch out, Mink! Huh, take that! <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a thing! <laughs> Mink, are you okay? Company. Yeah, and I've lost my gun. What about this? Good idea. <laughs> Look, Mink, there's a canyon up there. If we time our throw, we can use the dynamite to cut them off. You've walked right into my trap. Give the signal. Uh, 
Hang on tight, guys. And they're in front of us, too. <laughs> There's no way out. What do we do? Don't worry, Mink. I have a plan. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss part 2 of the police team video. We'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Somebody help! Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! <laughs> <laughs> I've hit the jackpot this time. Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig thinks he can steal Miss Mink's bag and get away with it? I don't think so. He's driving like a maniac, helicopter. We need to stop him fast, before he causes too much damage. Go, car! You can do it! <laughs> How can I shake off that pesky police car? <laughs> I know. Oh, no! Car, watch out! Phew! Close call. But now I've lost him. Car, there's another way. Go back to the previous intersection and make a right. Look straight ahead, and I think you'll find Evil Dr. Pig on the bus card in the distance. Yeah? Police car again! Where did he come from? Time to end this. I know what will get the police car off my tail. Time to use the oil slick. <laughs> Nice dodge, car. Thanks, helicopter. Time to speed it up. <laughs> Battering ram systems, go! Hey, what the? Be careful with that thing. Good idea, car. Now's your chance. Oh no, it didn't work. Oh, that was so close. I need a way to get out. Wait, what's that? A tunnel! Finally, I'll be able to get rid of car! Oh no, not again! Now how will we catch evil Dr. Pig? Finally! A free pig! <laughs> huh? Time to drop a spike strip! Oh no! A spike strip! You may be able to stop my car, but I can still get away on foot! Not so fast, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no you don't, Evil Dr. Pig. Hmm. Huh? Oh no! <laughs> oh, back in prison again! Search for App Mink! It's morning in At Mink Town. Sounds like Mink is sleeping in. <sighs> Mink is now ready for his day off. <sighs> Phew! What is this? What? Trash? 
What is this doing here? The whole street is full of garbage. What's this? A garbage truck. <laughs> hey, you! What are you doing? <laughs> Mink is going to catch them. <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, yeah, but what's going on here? The whole town is covered in trash, uh -huh. Mink. Look. We need to find the pigs. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, good morning, Mink. Do you like how I've decorated the place? Start cleaning this mess up right now! No! This is my town! If you don't like it, you can leave! Is that a joke? Guards! Remove them from my town! Fire! Don't worry, Mink! I got this! Great job! Watch out! Huh? Oh no! Another one is coming! Oh no! Big Mink! Uh oh! Big Mink is stuck. Here they come again! Uh. What do we do? I have an idea! Uh. Great! Oh, what? Let's roll! Do you give up now, Mink? What? Stop them! Fire! The police monster truck! <gasps> awesome! Here we go! Oh no! The wheels are stuck in garbage! Miss Mink! Huh? Give me a push! Even villains check the side mirror. I'll show you. Take a deep breath, Mink. I won't let you get away. <laughs> you won't last long, Mink. What? <laughs> <laughs> Pigs! Evil Dr. Pig won't be free until the pig squad cleans up all of the mess for him. Mink can enjoy his day off after all. Search for App Mink. Previously in App Mink Town, Evil Dr. Pig has snatched my bag! Not so fast, <laughs> Evil Dr. Pig. <laughs> Go, car! You can do it! <laughs> Time to end this. Time to use the oil slick. Oh no, not again. A spike strip. 
But not so fast, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh no you don't, Evil Dr. Pig! Oh, oh back in prison again! I sure am glad no one was hurt today. And we could return Miss Mink's bag. Yeah, I'm glad too, Helicopter. Us cars, we make the best police vehicles. Just look at my shiny motor. It is so powerful. At top speed, I can reach up to 130 miles per hour. Bad guys like Evil Dr. Pig see me coming in their rear vision mirror before they can even say yikes. With my motor, I can rise high up into the sky. Whoa, steady there, helicopter. You'll go right through the top of this building if you're not careful. And the last thing I want to be doing is cleaning up a big mess. For us cars, control is important. We need the best steering to avoid objects on the road. People, animals, and sometimes big rocks, and even oil. Good steering helps us to move around these objects with ease. Helicopters too have plenty of air and space to fly around in, but we also need to change direction quickly. That's why we use our tail rotor. Tail rotors also help keep us stable. Without it, we'd spin around and around in circles. Oh, that sounds scary. We have tires to help us stay stable on the road. Can you think of any conditions that would make it difficult for us to stay on the road, helicopter? In the snow and the rain? Exactly. But good tires keep us on the road, especially at high speed. They are also useful when driving through slippery mud. I bet you would need a good bath after that. Sure do. And I really don't like baths. We also have a rear wing that helps us stay on the road. Not to mention, rear wings look seriously cool. Don't you think, helicopter? It sure does look cool, car. But as you know, helicopters don't want to stay on the ground. They want to fly high into the sky so they can see everything below. We have these huge main rotors to help us do that. I was wondering when you would mention those. <laughs> Sorry, car. Now I will definitely be sure to let you know when I'm around. I could do that with my siren and flashing lights. The lights flash red and blue, and the siren makes a sound like this. Wow, so loud! But wouldn't you rather sneak up quietly on bad guys? Good point, helicopter. But sirens and flashing lights let other people know that I am coming. That way they can move out of harm's way. We need special lights too. We have a large spotlight for spotting things at night. With our spotlight, we can easily find bad guys. Also, it warns people of potential danger. Wow, helicopter! That is a very bright spotlight. And I can feel the warmth of it. It's like I'm sitting around a campfire. Do you have any marshmallows that we could cook and eat? <laughs> no, I don't have any marshmallows. Sorry, car. I can also make loud sounds through my loudspeaker. With my spotlight and loudspeaker, maybe we can host a special admin disco party. Sounds like fun. You know what, helicopter? We sure do have a lot of differences. But when we work together, we make a great crime-fighting team. Teamwork sure is important, car. Miss Mink was so happy when she got her bag back today. With teamwork, we can make such a difference and help people. We sure can. Search for App Mink. Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to build a helicopter. Are you ready? Yes! First, we should call the landing skis. Wow, here they are!
the cavern is coming. Right on its place. Everything we need to be stable. Hey, monster truck. Are these the parts for the helicopter's tail? Main rotor. Cool. Over here. Get in the helicopter! Time the doors! One... Two... Three... Four! Well done! <laughs> ah, the keys! You can do it, Mink! Yeah! Here we go! Cool! Search for App Mink. So, are you coming to the App Mink disco party tonight, Mink? Helicopter and I will be putting on quite a show. Bright lights and cool music. We will all be sure to have a great time. Sure am, Car. I'm looking forward to it very much. Help! Help! Someone! Fennec, what's going on here? And why is the tree on fire? I'm glad you're here, Mink. There is a little kitty stuck on top of that tower. And Big Mink climbed that tree to try and rescue it. Then a branch broke off and the tree fell onto the power lines. One of the lines broke away from the power pole and a spark from it caused a fire. Help! How do we stop this? Don't worry, Fennec Fox, Big Mink, or a little kitty. I know the right person for the job. Walkie talkie. Good morning in, Chief. Walkie talkie, can you call up fire truck? Sure thing, Mink. Fire truck, do you copy? We have a problem here and we need you ASAP. Copy that, walkie talkie. What seems to be the problem? We have Big Mink stuck high up in a tree and a kitty high up in a tower. They both need your help. And with your long rescue ladder, we'll be able to get them both down safely. And by the way, fire truck, a fire has started as well. I'm on it. Now, call in the electrician to turn off the power in the street immediately. We don't want any more fires to start or for someone to get electrocuted. Oh, guys, hurry up! Help is on the way, Big Mink! Hang in there! Thank goodness you're here, fire truck! Freddy Fox, take the hose and stop putting out that fire. You will need to attach me to that fire hydrant over there. Oh, all this smoke is making me feel dizzy. I think I might fall. Don't worry, Big Mink. Fire 
My truck is here, and we'll get you and Kitty down soon. Mink, we have no time to spare. You have to climb the ladder and get Big Mink down. Oh no, fire truck! The ladder doesn't quite reach. The ladder is only five meters long. I need another five meters to reach Big Mink. And worse still, I need another 10 meters to reach Kitty. What do we do? Don't worry, Mink. I have a ladder extension. I can provide the extra 10 meters you need. The fire is nearly out, team. Mink, have you reached Big Mink? Don't worry, Big Mink. We've got you. Boy, am I glad to see you, Mink. Thanks for coming to my aid. Don't mention it. Time to bring him down, Mink. Wait, Mink, don't forget Kitty. Big Mink, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, but I did cause a whole lot of trouble. Don't be so hard on yourself, Big Mink. While it's true that we can all be heroes, we all have our own strengths and limitations. You're right, Mink. Maybe I'm not the best climber after all. Don't worry, Big Mink. You just wanted to help. And well done for that. Yay! Everyone is safe and sound! Thanks goes to Fire Truck for helping us out again. And just in time for the disco. Let's go! I'm hungry. Christmas is coming! Good morning, Mink! Good morning, Big Mink! 
What a beautiful snowy day! Christmas is nearly here for at Mink Town. Miss Mink has her winter clothes on and is ready for a great day. Here comes the school bus. Hey, monster truck! Wow, look at the snow! Yeah! The school bus is on its way to Santa Mink's house. What wonder will we see there? Look at it! Hello? Look at all that Christmas wonder! <laughs> Hello there! I'm Santa Mink. You want to make some toys for me? <laughs> you bet! Hmm? Look at Max working hmm? so hard! Hmm? And you too, Fennec! Wow, the presents are floating! Oh, look at all this Christmas magic! All done! You boys have done excellent work! See you next time, Santa Mink! Yes, next time! Ho, ho, ho! What a great day! You look tired, Santa Mink! Oh, time for sleep. Time for sleep indeed. <laughs> oh no, it's evil Dr. Pig. All right, you're ready. Uh-oh, <laughs> ready for what? <laughs> Why are you guys going into the Christmas house? What are you doing? You're breaking everything! <laughs> Bring Santa this way. No, you can't kidnap Santa! <laughs> this is terrible! Alright, you ready to make some more toys? <gasps> Santa! Make sure you subscribe to At Mink and tune in next time so we can help save Christmas! Search for At Mink! Searching for Target! Target located. Target locked on. Hello, police car. You must be here to become a monster truck. Are you ready? Great! Let's see what we'll need. Hmm. Looks like we need some new tires first. Let's start by removing the old ones. Don't worry, it'll be fixed soon. Yeah, this is a real monster truck wheel. What's next? Oh, the suspension. Wrap up nice and tight. All right, we're going to need four of those. Time for the chassis. Stretch them out, that's it. Looking good. And now, the engine. Just jump right onto the chassis. That's it. Jump, jump. 
Um, hello? All right, that looks great. And finally, the cabin. Let's get going. Construction complete. Awesome. You're definitely the coolest police car ever. Amazing. Do you like it, Mr. Police Car? I thought you might. Let's go for a test drive. Whoa. Check out all those tricks. Wow, amazing. That was awesome. We'll see you next time, everybody. And don't forget to subscribe to at Mink to make sure you don't miss the next episode. Search for at Mink. Welcome back to at Mink Town, everyone. There's a vehicle meet today for the awesome vehicle competition. And some of the vehicles from at Mink are here to show off what they can do. Monster Truck is raring to go. Digger is pushing his way into position. What an impressive jump! The school bus is flying on over. The crane truck's here too, and ready to roll. Are we missing someone? Ah, it's the garbage truck, cleaning up before he gets in position. The monster truck jumps out first to show us what he can do. Howdy kids, I'm the monster truck. I'm the coolest ride in town. I love getting paint jobs and doing stunts. Check out my huge tires. I also have a strong chassis and extra suspension for jumps and tricks. And my engine is extra powerful. I like showing off tricks to my friends, but it often gets me dirty, and I hate taking them back. But I think being dirty just ain't cool. Grr, out of my way. Hey, wait. Kids, if you want to be cool, you've got to be strong. Look at my strong arm. I can dig holes and move heavy things. And look at my strong blade. I can move even heavier things with this. Or lift them like they're nothing and turn and place them anywhere. Tires aren't cool. Treads are much tougher. They can take you anywhere. And that's why I'm the strong. Hey, wait! Out of the way, make way for someone who's really strong. The strongest are always in a team. We're the crane truck. We're two friends who always work together. The crane can reach up to the sky with his hook and use it to lift heavy things and place them in the right spot.
But not only can he lift things, he can also smash him. Bam! We've got six big wheels so we can move heavy objects fast and easily. But if the crane needs more support, I have extra legs to lift heavier and higher. Teamwork is definitely the best. I'll teach you, you giraffe. <laughs> You'll never catch us with those treads. <laughs> Kids, we all know the most fun thing isn't being strong or being with just one friend. It's being with lots of friends. My body is made especially for moving lots of people at once. And I have lots of comfortable seats and top-notch suspension, making me great for carrying all your friends. We'll drive through extreme conditions together and have crazy adventures. And when it's all said and done, I'll make sure you go home soon. I bring you and your friends together. Oh no, look at the time! I'm late to pick up the kids from school again! Hi kids, I'm not the coolest or the strongest, and I can't take you and your friends on adventures. Some of you might have seen me before though. That's because I get up really early and drive through town. I use my mechanical arm to pick up garbage bins and clean unneeded objects and store them in my body. This means you can get rid of rubbish so your home doesn't get cluttered and is tidy and clean and has room for toys. <sighs> but I have to go to bed now. Tomorrow I'll be up early again. Bye kids, good night. Thanks for watching and tell us in the comments who your favorite vehicle is. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Search for App Mink. Hi everyone. Tonight is the night of Halloween for App Mink Town and it's looking especially scary. The monster cars are sitting around the campfire swapping ghost stories when all of a sudden <laughs> I've cast a spell on you all. It's a spell that gives you costumes to go trick-or-treating in. Now we've got our own magic and extra scary designing room. So, you're up first, Flash? Well, I think you will make a great Frankenstein. Perfect. You're up next, Speedy. All right, cowboy for you. Abracadabra. Wow, check out that hat and mustache. Victor, you can be a rock star. Hope you like rock and roll. So cool. And how about a werewolf for you, Bluey? Mm, look at those teeth. I'm scared already. And lastly, Blaze. You can be an Indian. Such a fantastic headdress. Okay, are you guys ready to go? Let's do some trick-or-treating. Oh, this is Ming's house. Who is it? And he's got a huge bowl of candy. What an awesome show! <laughs> what a great punk rock costume! You're definitely a rock star! Don't forget to thank Mink for the candy! You make such a great Frankenstein! <laughs> what does Big Mink think? He loves it! <laughs> oh well, let me take a picture! Don't forget to thank him for the candy! Okay, who's next? Huh? Someone's at the door! Well, howdy there, Miss Mink! Oh, wow! 
Could you spare some candy for our partner here? That's such a great cowboy costume! What a great cowboy! Here you go! Don't forget to say thanks! Oh, here comes Blaze! He's sneaking up to the police station. Oh, you and Police Chief Mink are both wearing the same costume. Isn't that funny? Thanks, Police Chief Mink. And now Fox Mink's house. <laughs> Don't scare him too much with that werewolf costume. Oh, you're scary. Thanks for the candy, Fox Mink. Hope you all had a good time and happy Halloween from everyone here at App Mink. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you all next time. Search for App Mink. Hey there, App Mink scholars, and welcome to the first installment of App Mink Academy. Today, we'll be talking about the seasons. As you know, there are four seasons. Summer is very hot, and there's lots of sunshine. Winter is very cold. And depending on where you live, there may be snow and ice. Spring is warm and lots of flowers come out in bloom. And in autumn, the leaves change color and fall from the trees. But you might be wondering, why do we have seasons? That is an excellent question. Let's join Mink on a journey into outer space to find out. Firstly, it is important to remember that like other planets in our solar system, the Earth moves around the Sun in a circular path called an orbit. Bearing that in mind, let's take a closer look at our Earth. Earth is a sphere, like an orange. There is an imaginary line running through the Earth called the axis. You may notice that the axis does not run straight up and down. This is because the Earth is actually on a tilt, or lean. That tilt is the reason for the seasons. As the Earth orbits around the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean toward the Sun and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. But you might be wondering, why is summer hotter than the other seasons? Another excellent question. It's because during summer, when the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the sun, it receives more direct sunlight. In other words, that warm, toasty sunlight is hitting that part of the Earth straight on. It is more concentrated in one spot and more intense. And what about winter? Well, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it's winter there. Winter is colder than the other seasons because during winter, when the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the sun, it receives indirect sunlight. In other words, that warm and toasty sunlight is now hitting the Earth at an indirect angle. It is spread out over a larger area and less intense. As for spring and autumn, these are the in-between seasons. During spring and autumn, the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the Sun. Clear as mud? It may help us if we follow the Earth on its orbit around the Sun and see how it works. Imagine you are here. What season would it be? I'll put that question to you, at Mink Scholars. I'll give you five seconds to think about it. If you said summer, then you are correct! Well done! The answer is summer because the place where the arrow is pointing is leaning towards the sun. Now let's see what happens as the Earth orbits around the sun. 
Let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the Sun? Right now, it would be autumn. Off we go again. Okay, let's stop here. We have made the journey right around to the other side of the Sun. Do you notice that where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the Sun? So, at Mink Scholars, what season would it be? I'll give you 5 seconds to think about it. If you said winter, then you are correct! Well done! The answer is winter because the place where the arrow is pointing is now leaning away from the sun. Let's keep going. Again, let's stop here for a moment. Do you notice that the Earth is neither leaning towards nor away from the sun again? Right now, it would be spring. Time to finish off this journey around the sun. Okay, so now we've arrived back where we started. And it's summer again in the place indicated by the arrow. And hopefully, you have a clear understanding as to why we have the seasons. But our learning is not over yet. Did you notice how long that journey took to complete one whole orbit? I'll give you another 5 seconds to think about it. If you said one year, or 365 days, then you're correct! It takes one year, or 365 days, for the Earth to make a full orbit of the Sun. In that time, we have four seasons. Each season is three months in length. And one more thing. Let's look at the Earth moving around the Sun again. You'll notice that when the top half of the Earth is leaning towards the Sun, the bottom half is leaning away from the Sun. That means that when it is summer in the top half of the Earth, it is winter in the bottom half of the Earth. For example, when it is summer in Australia, it is winter in the USA. So the bottom half always has the opposite season to the top half of the Earth. Okay, so let's wrap this up. So why do we have seasons? Because our Earth is not straight up and down but rather, it is tilted on its axis. That means that as the Earth orbits the Sun, sometimes parts of the Earth lean towards and away from the Sun. When the part of the Earth you live on leans towards the Sun, it's summer there. When the part of the Earth you live on leans away from the Sun, it's winter there. When the Earth is neither leaning towards or away from the Sun, it is spring or autumn. The relative temperatures in each season are related to the amounts of direct sunlight that a part of the Earth is receiving at any given time. So, that's it for the first installment of App Mink Academy. Now you know why we have seasons. Till next time, and as always, keep on learning! Search for App Mink. Hey everybody, we're back at App Mink Town today, and guess what? There's a surprise waiting for us at the police station. Let's go find out what it is. Oh, hello Mr. Walkie Talkie. What have you got for us today? Oh, some wheels? What are these for? Oh, it's the blueprints for a police car! And the wheels are the first step! What's next, Mr. Walkie Talkie? It's whatever's in this box? Ah, it's the axles for the wheels. Let's get them connected up so that we have a foundation for our police car. Wow, that 
looks like so much fun, Mr. Walkie Talkie. Uh-oh, it's Police Chief Mink. Oh wait, he's going to join in. Alright, now that the wheels are getting into position, what's next? We've got the siren, the bumper, the hood and the headlights, and the trunk and the tail lights. Let's see where they need to go. Here comes the hood and the trunk. Oh, look out! Oh no, I hope they're okay. Here comes Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink with the wheels. Alright, nice job guys. Now the helicopter will lower the windshield and the roof. Here comes the bumper, jumping into place. Oh, and now here are the doors, flying in from the hills. You guys know what to do. That's right, right on the sides. And lastly, here comes the siren, jumping onto the roof. Good job, Mr. Walkie Talkie and Police Chief Mink. Now we can introduce the newest member of the At Mink Police Force, Mr. Police Car. Thanks, everybody. Now let's say goodbye to Mr. Police Car as he goes on his way. Please subscribe to AppMink's channel and see you next time!